this is a problem related to car brakes so if you have a master cylinder like this this is the master cylinder internal diagram which we don't need to um, get into too much in it um, just realize there are a couple of cylinders that you know one cylinder couple of piston that produce that 1200 psi uh, pressure required to stop the car so in this case it says that this uh, master cylinder diameter is uh, 0.75 inch and then this brake line is um, 1 fourth inch and then these this brake caliper cylinder which press the brake is 4 inch diameter so and then all the other stuffs are given brake fluid specific gravity um, these lines are about three feet high the master cylinder is sitting about three feet high compared to the brake um, uh, caliper cylinder and then there is a, uh, a three feet frictional loss um, between the point one and point two so the first question is asking uh, what's the calculate the pressure at point two so if we apply the Bernoulli's law between these two points we can write that the Bernoulli's law which is the law of energy conservation in fluid uh, context which is pressure head at point one uh, plus the elevation head at point of point one plus the velocity head at point one p square by 2z minus all the head losses is equal to um, the point to pressure head and then the point to elevation head and the point to velocity head now in this example the velocity for point one and two which has the same diameter lines so uh, basically they are kind of same and also they're not that high very small so v1 equals v2 so they're not really flowing that high velocity even though they're not same diameter they're almost close to zero so this two part is zero this is zero now if we make this point two is our ground then this z2 will be zero as well and then then z1 will be three and then you got three feet loss so basically three minus three so the only thing left here is the pressure is equal to pressure so p1 is equal to p2 so that's what this question is asking p1 is given 1200 so basically 1200 psi is the answer now it says calculate the force developed by the caliper uh, cylinder now because you say this is the caliper cylinder this is the line so according to pascal law the pressure in each of these point if we ignore the gravity and uh, every single point is going to be the same pressure so we'll see that uh, the caliper piston has the same psi same pressure so then the force we can calculate force equal to pressure times area we get 1200 psi pound per square inch times the area which is pi by 4 it says 4 inch diameter caliper piston whole square so if i calculate this i get about 15000 uh, pounds for this now the uh, it says the calculate the uh, second question is asking uh, calculate the force required to produce that 1200 psi by the master cylinder so how much force this master cylinder will need to produce that 1200 psi now the master cylinder uh, diameter is given the uh, piston diameter 0.75 so we can calculate the area from there so the force would be then 1200 psi uh, pound per square inch times the area cross-sectional area of the master cylinder pi by 4 uh, d square so if we calculate that which will be i calculated 530 pounds now this is not uh, what is required by the driver foot because between the master cylinder and driver foot you have a brake booster and the brake lever which multiply the forces so you need about around 100 or between 50 to 100 pounds uh, force from the feet or even less than that depends on the car so uh, it's only 530 required um, by the master cylinder to produce that 1200 psi 
uh, force. 1200 psi pressure 